Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm actually going to be showing you a new um, Benny's Merge that is working right now. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest ones I've had in a while, it's, you can do it to any vehicle they have in your arena, so it is pretty good. And you don't actually need a modded RC Bandito, uh, you just need like a normal version of it, it doesn't have to be modded. And um, you need obviously the vehicle that you want the mods coming off, and the vehicle that you want the mod going on, and you need an arena. But once you've got everything like that, what you want to do is come to this RC Bandito, and we want to press right on the D-pad when you're here. Once you press right on the D-pad, you should hear the mechanic talk in the background. As soon as you hear the mechanic talk in the background, what you want to do is press the Xbox Home button and go into the YouTube app and then come back onto GTA. Now, before I continue with the video, I'd just like to say I'm hosting the 5 more giveaway because I did reach 750 subs the other day. And it's going to be rolled on um, Thursday, so I will be announcing the winner on Thursday's video. And um, I'll show you uh, the uh, spin rolling and stuff like that so you can see who wins. Um, and the steps of this, all you have to do is uh, make sure you are subscribed to me, follow me on Instagram because that's how I'm going to be contacting you, and comment your game and tag and console so I know which console I'm doing the giveaway on. But um, yeah, so that's that. And uh, also, if you don't, if you win it and you don't reply in the first hour or so, it will be re-rolled in the next video for someone else to win. But um, yeah, that's the giveaway. Then once you've switched uh, the YouTube app back on to GTA, you should then get this um, screen here where it says quitting session. So basically when you hear the mechanic talk on the RC Bandita car when you press right on the D-pad, what you want to do is switch over to the YouTube app on your Xbox and then once it's loaded up a little bit, switch back onto GTA. And if you do that correctly, then you'll get this loading screen. Now a lot of people were saying that you do need to spawn in the um, arena for this. Now, personally, I didn't actually spawn in the arena, and it still worked 100% for me. So, if you want, just make sure that your location is on last location. It's not in a different apartment. So, you either spawn outside, or you spawn in the arena. It's up to you, but just make sure it's one of them. Then, once you actually spawn into um, story mode, what you want to do is uh, make sure you've in their targeting mode, which someone else is not going to be. So, personally, I chose to be in free aim. As you can see here, I was an assisted aim, and I knew the person who I had to join at the end of the glitch was going to be an assisted, so I changed mine to free aim. Then once you've got your um, assisted aim or free aim or whatever you've got, your targeting mode, what you want to do is then press pause again, and then uh, go over to online, and then start an invite only session. So as you can see here, what I do is press pause, go over to online, go down to uh, play GT online, invite only session, and launch at invite only session. Now this is what I say, you can either spawn in your arena or you can spawn outside. Just make sure you don't spawn in a different apartment. Uh, so personally, I'd just recommend you putting your location on last location if you don't have the personal quarters in the arena. It'll still work like that, so you don't actually have to spawn in your arena for this. And um, I'll show you what I mean in the gameplay in a minute. Yeah, and like I say, this glitch is like really good, efficient. You can hit it 100% of the time. Just make sure you don't mess it up towards the end, but I'll explain that later on in the video, because it will slow your vehicle. But like I say, I would recommend this while it's actually still working, because you can get a lot of hidden liveries with this glitch as well. As you'll see in the gameplay, that's what I do. I used a Zaba to actually get hidden liveries, what's in the game. And um, if you don't know what hidden liveries are, it's basically a modded livery, what you can't really get if you put it on normally. So if you merge it, then you'll get the livery. But I'll explain all that later in the video, and if you do need any help, it with that or you don't understand any part of the video, just drop a comment down below. But as you can see, once I've uh, loaded back into GTA Online my invite only session, I do spawn quite a bit away from my arena. So I get back to you once I'm in my arena. Now once you're actually in your arena, uh, you might spawn close, it doesn't matter really where you spawn, as long as it's either outside or in the arena. But once you're actually back into the arena, make sure you've got the car that you want the mods off. So as you can see behind me, I'm doing a Zaba. So then get into the car that you're transferring the mods from. And then once you get into the car, what you want to do when your engine started up is you want to press right on the D-pad. If the menu comes up while you're in the parking space, you've hit the glitch bang on and it's going to work. If it doesn't and it takes you in, just redo the glitch because you haven't hit it. Then once you've uh, got the menu up at the side, what you want to do is change one thing on the vehicle. This is just to like save the mods onto the vehicle. So as you can see, I'm just changing the paint. Uh, like this and then once you've actually changed the paint what you actually want to do is go down and just sell the vehicle Now don't worry it doesn't actually sell your car and it doesn't affect the daily sale limit um, It's just part of the glitch so as you can see What you want to do is go over to sell vehicle here and you want to uh, just confirm the whole thing So sell the whole vehicle like this and then once you've actually sold it you should be put into a black screen So as you can see here I'm selling the vehicle I'll show you want to sell, uh, yeah, sell and it says vehicle sold 
Once you've pressed the vehicle sold, you'll then be put onto a black screen with a loading circle in the bottom right corner. Once you get onto this black screen, just join someone in a different targeting mode, uh, join your friend in a different targeting mode, and then wait for the alert to pop up. Once the alert message pops up, what you want to do is accept the first one, and then cancel the second alert. So yeah, accept the first alert, cancel the second. Once you've done that, what you actually want to do is just then get out of the car that you want the mods off. So in my case, I'm doing it at the Zarba, like I say, I want to get out of the Zarba. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is just run over to the car that you actually want to put the mods onto. So as you can see here, I'm getting this Ardent, which is fully stuck. And all you want to do is just get into it. And then what you want to do is just press RT, so it drives the vehicle out. And then uh, you'll be put into a black screen for five seconds or so. And once you're out, you should see that the car does change. It does change, and uh, all the mods from the Zarba actually go into this. And because the livery is different on from the car I did onto this car, it's because this uh, vehicle does have a hidden livery, and this is the hidden livery for the vehicle. So that's why the uh, liveries are different. But as you can see, the wheels and everything like that is the same. So once you've done that, that's how you actually transfer the mods and everything like that. And then if you actually want to save the vehicle. What you want to actually do is just get out of the car, as I'll see, show you in a minute. You just want to uh, press Y and actually get out of the vehicle. When, once you do this, you should see that the vehicle does disappear. As you can see here, give it a couple of seconds, the vehicle disappears. Now that's alright, it should happen. Once that happens, what you want to do is just run back into the arena, and you should see that your um, vehicle is in the spot where it, where it was left, so it should just be in the parking spot. Once it's in the parking spot, just get into the vehicle, Go into the arena workshop and just change up one thing on the um, on the car just to fully save the mods. And um, yeah, so that's that. As you, I'll show you in the gameplay here. But um, thank you for watching. I hope this does help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to enter the giveaway. And um, yeah, so it, also if you do need any help with this glitch, just drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to help. But I am banned off uh, from communication for two weeks. So I can't actually message anyone back or anything on um, Xbox. So if you do need me, just drop a comment down below or message my Instagram or join my Discord. I know the invites are invalid, so if you want to join my Discord, just drop a comment and I'll send you a new uh, new invite. And you can join that way. But um, yeah, so this is the Benny's Merge Glitch. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope this does help you out.